All right. So, got the chain on. 110 link. And it fits. The chain adjuster is at the at the uh, lowest position. It goes this way to tighten. Tighten this way. It pulls the axle back. Okay, so we're good there. Got it on. And a tool is needed to press the master link plate on. And this one has the, uh, the clip. Here's the clip. So it's exacting work. It's got to be done properly, otherwise it will fail. So this one takes a six millimeter hex wrench. And let's take it off, have a look what's going on. Okay, it comes off like that. So yeah, so so here it's uh, press press on. And if you want to use it as a to take the this master link apart, you can press it off. It's a uh, yeah, quite a nifty tool. I like it. Anyhow, <clears throat> got to make sure there's a groove here on this pin. There, I can feel it. So just by looking at it, it's looks like it's on. I should push it in a bit more on this side here, a bit more. Let's see if this clip go, goes on. Yeah, it catches the the groove in there. That's good. This one. Yeah. Just press on a bit more and then put the clip on. And this is critical. Make sure that the clip goes the direction of, of the chain, the forward motion of the bike. So it goes this way. Open end on that side, the closed end on this side. That's critical. Make sure you do that. So it goes around like that. And that's about all there is to it. This job is pretty much done. I'll just put this on once I get that the plate pushing a bit more. And that's it. And I'll have a look uh, at uh, how this chain performs. About the niche brand sprockets and chain. So looks good, like a gold color. And uh, just to uh, get everything back, put back together and uh, take it for a rip. Thanks for watching.